Hi, I'm Nathan Cannon, a sophomore computer science major here at UNH. And I'm Ryan Bergman, I'm a junior computer science student here at UNH, and we're both members of the Wireless Consortium here at the UNH Interoperability Lab. Today we're going to take you through our Octoscope test bed. Octoscope is a wireless equipment ma manufacturer that specializes in stackable and modular wireless test beds. We use it for wireless testing such as performance testing and QoE testing. And now we're going to walk you through the Octoscope test bed we have here at the lab. So this is the Octoscope Box 38 with a turntable. This is what we use for the majority of our wireless testing. So we use it for TR398, we use it for range versus throughput testing and roaming testing. So all that's needed to do a test is to put the DUT in the bottom box. It can be an access point or a station. And then all we need to do is plug it into the power outlet in the back, plug in the ethernet port, and we are all done. During our roaming test, we put a station in the bottom box, which is connected via two paths to the top two boxes, which contain two identical APs with the same exact setup, both Wi-Fi, uh, SSID, and password. These are connected via attenuators to the bottom box on the side here, and these on one side will decrease attenuation, and on the other side will increase attenuation, which simulates a station moving from AP to AP. Some of the benefits of the Octoscope testbed environment is that it provides an isolated and controlled environment for consistent and repeatable wireless performance testing that is not feasible in open air solutions. Flexible test configurations allow for custom test scenarios in addition to our advertised services. And for our TR398 testing, our tests are implemented in conjunction with Test Sentinel for full suite automation and results database. The wireless features that the Octoscope testbed supports are all 802.11 generations, including ABGN, AC, AX, as well as 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band operation, up to four spatial stream support, and operation in 20, 40, 80, and 160 MHz channel width. The wireless tests that the Octoscope testbed can perform are throughput performance testing, such as throughput versus range, roaming testing, and the Broadband Forum TR398 CPE performance testing. So at the lab, we also develop a automated testing tool called Test Sentinel. Recently, Test Sentinel got support for 802.11 testing as well. This 802.11 testing includes support for interfacing with Octoscope's modular test beds. So today I'm going to show you a quick demo of how you can create a test and run a test in Test Sentinel. First, you can open the test creator and load a test. I've got a wireless range versus rate template already open, so I'm going to open that. And right now I have it so we start the attenuation at 0 de decibels and stop the attenuation at 60 decibels with a 1 decibel step. I don't want my test to take very long, so I'm going to start at 30 decibels, end at 60 decibels, and step by 5 decibels. I can save the test, go back to the start page, click on test engine, click on the select or load a test, click load, and then select the same test that I just created. From there I can select the sections that I want to run, I can change my runtime variables, and from there I can go to the device configuration, select my device that I want to test with, enter in an ID for the DUT that I'm testing, and then go to the test status tab, select the tester, and click start. From there, your test will automatically run, running all the sections that you selected, and logging vital information to the database. Thanks for watching. To learn more about wireless testing and other services offered by the IOL, visit our website.